some small part of this airplane should fail to work properly, there might be a forced landing or a serious accident. It's an airplane mechanic's responsibility to keep this airplane in airworthy condition. The safety of this airplane and its passengers is so important that your government won't allow just any mechanic to say when an airplane is ready to fly. You have to be a certificated mechanic. Here's an airman's certificate. And here's his airplane and engine mechanic rating record. Before your government will award you these certificates and allow you to sign your name as an approved aircraft mechanic, you must prove your ability to maintain an airplane. Now here's a typical light airplane. When it left the factory, it was given an airworthiness certificate. To keep its certificate, this plane's got to be maintained in airworthy condition. That's the job of an airplane mechanic. To be an airplane mechanic, you must know your airplane thoroughly. From propeller to tail wheel, from wingtip to wingtip, inside and out. You've got to know how every single part works, so you can be sure when these parts are in good working order. You've got to know your engine, how all its parts work. The fuel system, the ignition system, the cylinders, and all the moving parts, so you can be sure the engine will never fail. And you've got to know how to make all kinds of repairs to keep your airplane airworthy. How to fix a tire how to repair damaged fabric, how to clean a gas collator, how to adjust the controls, how to put in a cotter pin, how to safety a turnbuckle, how to check a magneto. You've got to know how. After you're trained and you know all these things, you must pass exacting examinations, both written and oral. And you must show a government inspector that you can handle all the practical jobs of airplane maintenance. It's quite a responsibility being the mechanic for an airplane like this. It's necessary to keep accurate written records. This plane began to have its own biography the day it left the factory. You'll have to keep the story up to date by making entries regularly in the engine and aircraft logbooks. There are other papers, too, that have to be kept with the airplane at all times. Each one of these is an important part of the plane's history. You'll have to be sure the records are kept accurate and up to date. Here's the periodic inspection form for the last inspection. You'll be responsible for regular inspections and for making out these forms. You'll find that the engine and airplane manuals that came with the airplane are valuable sources of information about the plane and how to maintain it. Most of your work as the mechanic for this airplane will be spent in inspecting it regularly. Systematic pre-flight inspections help to keep your plane airworthy. They're not as detailed as the periodics, but they're important just the same. You've got to keep your eyes open constantly. You've got to keep checking to make sure everything's all right. All stationary parts of the plane must be solid and secure. And all moving parts must move freely and operate smoothly. 
Every moving part under constant strain should be inspected thoroughly, by sight, by feel, and by operation. All regular inspections are preventive maintenance. In this way, you prevent the plane from breaking down by keeping it in airworthy condition. Whenever you have a repair job to do, it must be made in strict accordance with regulations. Any major repair has got to pass inspection by a government inspector before the airplane flies again. Occasionally, you'll have to make changes in your airplane to keep it currently airworthy. You'll get airworthiness directives like this one, which required oil holes to be drilled in the stabilizer tube to prevent binding. Such changes must be made according to the directions in the AD note. Airworthiness directives make your plane safer to fly. They're the result of experience. It may have been a mechanic like yourself who first suggested to an inspector the need for oil holes in the stabilizer. And don't forget, when you comply with an AD note, enter it in the log. It's an important part of the plane's history. But an airplane mechanic's job is even more than this. It's more than inspecting to prevent trouble from developing. It's more than making repairs on the airplane. It's more than keeping the engine running perfectly. Being a good mechanic is more than all these. It's doing your job thoroughly, skillfully, and dependably. For instance, when you're running a periodic inspection, it means that every single item must be checked. Being thorough means that when you think there's a crack, you scrape off the paint so you can inspect the bare metal. Be thorough. Add feel to sight. Check all safety with your fingers. Take off all the inspection plates and get inside the wing with a light so you can really see what you're inspecting. Don't overlook anything because it's hard to get at. Check everything. And a good mechanic must be skillful in handling and using his tools. When there's engine trouble, you've got to be skillful in locating the cause of the trouble and in making the adjustments necessary to correct it. And the final thing that helps to make the difference between any mechanic and a good mechanic is dependability. When you sign your name and certificate number to a job you've done, your pilot and his passengers will depend on its meaning something. Remember, when a pilot takes up a plane you've worked on, he's counting on your thoroughness, skill, and dependability on the way you've done your job.